One train, we will call it Train A, is about to leave at 11.30 a.m., heading toward a destination 720 kilometers away, traveling at a speed of 100 kilometers per hour. The other, Train B, starts its journey at 11 a.m., traveling at a speed of 80 kilometers per hour and heading straight toward Train A. The question is, at what time will these trains pass each other? Note that Train B starts from the destination of Train A. So, can you solve it? In order to solve this problem, imagine you and your friend are both walking toward each other from opposite ends of a long hallway, having 60 steps. You walk at a speed of 2 steps per second, and your friend walks at a speed of 3 steps per second. Now, let's think of all the possible situations. If you were walking, and your friend was standing still. In this case, the only person moving is you. Since you're walking at two steps per second, you would cover the 60 steps all by yourself. So, it would take you 60 steps divided by two steps per second, which means you would take 30 seconds to reach your friend. Now assume if your friend were walking and you were standing still. This time, it's your friend who is walking while you stay still. Since your friend walks at three steps per second, he would cover the 60 steps in how much time? It will be 60 steps divided by three steps per second, which means it would take your friend 20 seconds to reach you, right? Now, if both of you are walking toward each other, here's where it gets interesting. Both of you are moving at the same time. So instead of just one person closing the gap, or decreasing this distance between both of you, both are doing it at the same time, and thus the time of your meeting will be less than 20 seconds. But how fast is the gap closing? It's simple, right? We add your speed and your friend's speed. It's like making your friend stand still, and you take his speed and move towards him. So, two steps per second plus three steps per second equals five steps per second will be your speed after you take your friend's speed. Thus, the time of your meeting will be 60 over 5 or 12 seconds. So in 12 seconds, you would have taken 12 times 2 or 24 steps. And your friend would have taken 12 times 3 or 36 steps, and both of you will meet somewhere here. This is the power of relative speed. So when two objects move toward each other, their combined speeds are added together to figure out how quickly the distance between them is closing. This concept of relative speed applies to the trains in our problem too. Now, let's think about how long it will take them to meet. The total distance between them is 720 kilometers. And their combined speed or the relative speed will be 100 plus 80 or 180 kilometers per hour. So, we take the 720 kilometers and divide it by 180 kilometers per hour. This gives us the time it takes for the trains to meet, which is four hours, right? No, wrong. There's a catch. Train A is leaving 30 minutes later than train B. So we need to figure out what happens in those first 30 minutes before train A even starts moving. And after that, only we can combine their speed. Since train B is traveling at 80 kilometers per hour in 30 minutes, which is also equal to 30 over 60 or one half of an hour, train B will cover a distance of 80 kilometers per hour times one over two hours or 40 kilometers. Now, when train A starts at 11.30 a.m., the distance between the two trains has already shrunk by about 40 kilometers. So, the new distance between the trains when train A begins its journey is 720 minus 40, or 680 kilometers. Now, we can use the same approach we did earlier to figure out how long it will take them to meet. We divide the remaining distance of 680 kilometers by their combined speed of 180 kilometers per hour. This gives us about 3.78 hours which is roughly 3 hours and 47 minutes. Now, 
Since train A started its journey at 11.30 a.m., we need to add 3 hours and 47 minutes to this time to find out exactly when they will meet. Starting from 11.30 a.m., if we add 3 hours, we get 2.30 p.m. Then, adding the extra 47 minutes brings us to 3.17 p.m. So, the two trains will pass each other at approximately 3.17 p.m., and that's it. This is our final answer. The key here is to understand the concept of relative speed and apply it here. If you enjoyed this and want to see more, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more engaging math problems. So, good!